What is up guys, Toasty here, Get Burnt. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video talking more about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I haven't done a video about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 in a long time, talking more about, you know, some feedback for the game. Just talking about what I would wanna see in a Xenoverse 2, when, if it is made, you know, I, I know a lot of people like, say, oh, you don't even know if Xenoverse 2 is being made. Well, when it does get made, then then we'll all be happy, I guess, or at least most of us will be happy. But I kind of wanted to do another video talking more about something that I want to see in Xenoverse 2, and today that is the story. So a lot of people had a problem with the story mode in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, so I thought this would be a nice topic to touch on. And there is a big thing here about the story being the same as the previous Dragon Ball games, where you know pretty much does the exact same thing as the anime and manga, where it just gives you the story mode, but you get to play as the story mode. So pretty much, you know, you go through Goku versus Raditz if you're playing in a Dragon Ball Z only game I guess like Raging Blast or something like that you play from that to the death of Kid Buu and that's how far you would go and I would hope that they would honestly put a different story mode again in Xenoverse 2 mainly because in Xenoverse 1 that was the real big thing about the story mode that really made me want to play it as much because uh, personally for me I, it got really old playing the exact same story over and over and over again and I talked about this back before Xenoverse came out I, I really felt that having a different story mode in a Dragon Ball game that is you know at least the exact same story but it changes some things I think that that's a really cool concept and I think that they can expand on that maybe try a few different things from other parts of the franchise you know the games and all that stuff like you know dragon ball heroes that i still think could be really expanded upon especially in a game that comes over here now obviously we wouldn't get everything about it because you know we don't have dragon ball heroes over here so some people will probably be a little bit lost but i mean like i don't mean bringing like characters that are only from dragon ball heroes but giving characters some transformations that you know would happen in the story but you know actually didn't happen maybe gohan super saiyan 3 instead of mystic stuff like that that's what i mean i mean so if you give everybody some, you know, interesting side stories that, you know, we didn't get in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, like in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, when it used your creative character to go through the story mode, it was okay. It was an okay experience because most of the stuff that happened for you in that story mode was pretty streamlined. Everything was pretty much the same, or at least most of the stuff was the same, but, you know, Toa and Mira were, changed some stuff a little bit. I mean, like, you know, somebody getting up after they should have been defeated. And I, I don't know, man. It's just like, in Xenoverse, it seemed like it was a little bit of a wasted opportunity. So I'm hoping that if there is Xenoverse 2, whenever there is, I hope that it will actually bring some new stuff to the table, bringing in some maybe different transformations, bringing in some different, you know, complete story events, maybe changing up things, especially with the newer iterations of the series, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But yes, that's pretty much what I think about Dragon Ball Heroes iteration, like, you know, kind of being brought into Xenoverse because you know Dims did make that game Dragon Ball Heroes over there in Japan and now they are making Xenoverse or Xenoverse 2 they make the exact same game so I felt that it would be easier for them to you know have that sort of thing cross over I think that would be great obviously we don't have Dragon Ball Heroes as I said before over here in the west we ha don't know how it is to play but it is a card game most of the stuff that we do know is about the trailers because you know we've seen all the animated trailers for Dragon Ball Heroes as well as you know some of the small things like you know us seeing you know Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gohan or something like that in a scan and I even think there's Teen Gohan I'm not sure if there's Super Saiyan 3 Teen Gohan I know there's Super Saiyan 3 Adult Gohan but yes that's what I mean so we really don't have that much info about the game itself Dragon Ball Heroes and we probably won't for a very long time if it ever does come here which I doubt it will but I think Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 could do really well with having some different transformations to try and make the story feel a little bit more different than Xenoverse did from the original Dragon Ball stuff. So tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Would you guys like to see it stray away from the storyline to a greater extent to where you see completely different, you know, transformations, completely different forms of people that we've already seen in the series? I personally think that would be amazing, especially because there was a cliffhanger at the end of Xenoverse, which, you know, if you haven't played Xenoverse, really, it's not a huge spoiler, but there was a cliffhanger at the end of the game which you know kind of poked to having a sequel with the same villain so i cannot wait to see that and i hope that that will be picked up i hope that tormir get picked up as well as maybe some stuff from dragon ball online dragon ball online is what xenoverse is partly based off of a lot of the stuff like Tom Mira, who are the enemies in the game are actually from dragon ball online so bringing in some dragon ball online stuff like you know cell x i've said this all before cell x you know bringing in some other different you know characters and all that stuff would be really awesome to see i really like to see some really different things come out of xenoverse 2 story mode things that we haven't seen or at least most of the dragon ball community probably haven't seen yet in games for us in the west so that would be really nice to see and yes that's really it for that that's all i really wanted to say 
basically in a nutshell i'm hoping that it does still keep its difference from the original manga and anime because i do want to see some sort of different storyline dude it really makes it more interesting for me at least personally to see something that's different now i know that are a lot of you out there that love to see the like the original anime and manga done in a few different types of ways in different games and all that stuff maybe some of you would love to see it in xenoverse's style especially with the very live cutscenes i mean you know personally even though a lot of you probably don't like xenoverse or some of you don't i personally think that the cutscenes in xenoverse are some of the best that we've had in a very long time they're not stiff like in spike games and spike games there's always just you know a stiff character just talking and standing in the same spot there's never real that much motion and in dims games the characters usually always have motion in the cutscenes you've seen it in budokai one you've seen it in infinite world and now you see it here in xenoverse so hopefully that keeps up in xenoverse 2 as well i'd like to see a lot more cutscenes like those just very lively cutscenes that make you feel like you're actually watching the anime in a different form and that's really it that's all i really wanted to say but tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below um different you know timeline like things like you know different paths you could take in the story i don't think that that'll be put in because that just would take too much work and at a point if you do do that that ends up probably you know jeopardizing the game in general at least in terms of its storytelling because the more divergent paths you have to focus on the less you can actually focus on the paths of the storylines in general like you know making those stories like you know worthwhile at some point they'll become really stupid if they have too many diverging paths in terms of what you can do in the story mode and some people would not like that i think that a lot of people would not enjoy having you know really stupid you know separate story mode pieces instead of just having one straight line really good story mode so yeah that's what i'm that's what i mean by that and tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below as well now, the last thing I really wanted to talk about was some side stories. Now, when I say side stories, I don't mean just the traditional like storyline with your created character going through the story mode. I mean a separate storyline in general. So, Raging Blast 1, in my personal opinion, was probably the best at doing this, giving us, you know, alternate timelines or just alternate, you know, story modes to actually play through. You know, what, the, like Bardock actually being able to meet Goku and Gohan and Goten, like that sort of thing. I personally think that's really awesome. And it's, kind of, it's obviously fan service. It's something that is not required to be in the game but it is a really cool bonus and it makes the game somewhat unique having that sort of thing along with some you know cutscenes with this like having very lively as i said before xenoverse cutscenes with these types of stories would be really awesome and obviously this could be extremely what if especially like you know bardock in his case but i think that these types of things bringing in some alternate story modes would be a really cool thing to see but tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below as well what do you guys think about alternate story modes being put into the game as well that's really all I wanted to say about the story mode for today for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 feedback. Tell me what you guys think about the story mode in the comments down below. What would you like to see in a Xenoverse sequel story mode that you didn't get in Xenoverse 1 that you maybe want to see now? Do you guys want to see a good and evil system? For me personally, a good and evil system, it sounds really good and it sounds like it could really work, but... I don't know if it will actually work when they try and you know actually put it into the game it's possible that it could just end up being very dry instead of actually being as cool as we want it to be but I don't know tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below what do you think of a, a good and evil system what do you think about having alternate story modes like you know bardock meeting goku goten and gohan uh, or and also what do you guys think about the story mode in general like adding things from heroes adding things from dragon ball online adding other game stuff into dragon ball xenoverse 2 to make it a better game and make it feel more different than the first one than just being you know kind of uh walk through the original dragon ball storyline with you know more evil characters i guess or just you know mind controlled characters as well with your creative character tell me what you guys think in the comments down below what do you think about xenoverse 2 in general for story mode and i will see you guys in the next xenoverse fan feedback video if you guys have any more that you'd like for me to do like any other ideas that you guys want me to do for dragon ball xenoverse 2 feedback then please leave it down in the, in the comments down below because i really would like to see you guys tell me what you guys want to see for these videos i brought these back because i thought you know having xenoverse 2 feedback was something that was really cool and i actually kind of forgot to keep bringing it back so i'm gonna try and bring it back even more now so tell me what you guys think in the comments down below what do you guys want to see and that's it for this video as i said before i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day and peace out